Hey guys, Jordan Reed here to discuss three prospects Denver Broncos fans should keep an eye on this weekend. And it has been an eventful season in Denver this year. Drew Locke just hasn't been the answer for them as they thought they would be getting from him. They just thought they would be, be getting a little bit more from him. But the team has just been decimated with injuries. And that's the first thing that you notice about this team. And they have had so many decimating injuries at key spots. Von Miller was the one that was really, really devastating for this team as he suffered the Achilles injury. But after that, it was just a snowball effect. It seemed like Cortland Sutton and there's plenty of other players that have been just decimated with injuries as well. And it's kind of you kind of feel bad for Vic Fangio a little bit as he's fighting the uphill battle, just trying to get over a lot of those injuries right now. But let's just talk about three prospects prospects that I think could come in right away and really help this team and I think the positions that the team needs the most help at right now edge rusher definitely is one as they enter a really interesting decision to make with Von Miller going forward a player that has just been a stalwart for the organizations but they have a very very interesting decision coming up with him in the offseason we'll see what does happen with that but I still think they need some depth along the edge behind him and also Bradley Chubb as well cornerback could be a position that they look to address. I think Michael Ojemudi has been a definite surprise for them this year as far as how well he has played. Bryce Callahan, before he suffered the injury, was playing some really good football as well. But also offensive tackle. I think that's another position that they could serve to upgrade as well, even though we really don't know what Jawan James is going to be to this point. And Garrett Bowles has just been a godsend since, since Mike Munchak uh, came over as the offensive line coach. So Kudos to Mike Munchak. He has got Garrett Bowles playing the best football of his career, and he just signed the big extension as well. But I still think they could look to serve as an upgrade at that right tackle spot opposite of Bowles. So the first player that I talk about that could fill in right away at that right tackle spot or even along the interior is Alex Leatherwood, the big-time offensive tackle from Alabama, a player that there's kind of mixed opinions about him right now as far as is he a guard, is he a tackle, but the great thing about him is he has versatility. He played guard his first two years when he was at Alabama, and then these past two seasons, he's, he's looked really good at left tackle, and those opinions are still going to be all over the place, but regardless of that, I still think the Broncos will have interest in him just because of his versatility, but also he can play that right tackle spot if Jawan James just isn't able to return from what he's been going through with the COVID-19 situation and then the injury situation as well with them and after signing that big time a lucrative deal coming over in free agency so Alex Leatherwood definitely is a name to monitor this weekend as he faces a very talented LSU defensive front that is always 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 going to have some big time players coming off of the edge the next player that could serve as an upgrade at that cornerback spot is Sean Wade the big time off the big time cornerback I should say from the Ohio State Buckeyes and it has been a bit of a roller coaster season for Sean Wade this year as he has transitioned from the nickel spot to the outside. But the great thing about that for the Broncos is that they may not have to spend a first round pick getting Sean Wade. They could end up getting him in the second round after he was picked as being a first round selection all throughout the summer. But things just have not went well for Sean Wade. He's been a really inconsistent as he trans as he has transitioned from the nickel spot to the outside. So I could see a big Fangio type coming from him as he's a guy that is supremely physical he loves tackling and those are the first two things that big fangio mentions when talking about cornerbacks can they tackle are they physical and then just how well do they play as far as their eye discipline and i think sean wade checks all those boxes i can see him being a big fangio type of cornerback and him having some interest in him there as he battles against michigan state this weekend and then the last prospect i think broncos fans should keep their eye on and this is a player that kind of is a bit underrated at the moment. And his name is Brenton Cox Jr. from Florida, a player that came over from Georgia. But you pop in the tape from him and you just notice the juice he has coming off the edge. He already has that hand power and just that hand to hand combat that you're looking for from the position. He has a lot of creativity as far as a pass rusher. And then he is very dependable as a run defender as well. I could see him being a big Fangio type of defensive end. I could see him taking a liking to Brenton Cox Jr. So keep an eye on him, a player that is probably going to end up being a top 50 to top 75 selection as things are trending upward for him right now. It would surprise me if he ends up going even higher than that. So we could enter a situation of where they might have to take him with their first round selection. We don't know. There's a long way to go until the draft in April, but keep an eye on Brenton Cox Jr. from Florida as he battles against Tennessee this weekend. So the other two prospects you guys should keep an eye on Alex Leatherwood as he goes up against LSU, and then also Sean Wade as he goes up against Michigan State. But let's be positive, Broncos fans. You guys have a lot of talent on the roster, but there are some holes 
Quarterback could be another position that they look to address, but I still think John Elway isn't ready to pull the plug on Drew Locke right now, as this is really his first full year being a starter. So I don't think they'll look to upgrade that this early, this offseason. So on the bright side, keep an eye on these three prospects, as I just mentioned.